road trip. Just going to go for a short flight from Manchester in the northwest of England. I'm doing this by way of comparison. I just jumped in the Twin Otter today in Manchester to fly the ILS approach to 05, which I did in one of my previous Twin Otter videos. It was very, very challenging indeed. It's a very windy day and it's real world weather. But I want to fly in the X plane Twin Otter and then again in the Aerosoft Twin Otter in FSX and see how the aircraft handling compares because it felt very much more challenging in this aircraft. So that's what we're going to do. The weather's clear. We've got some haze and lots of wind and uh, wind shear. I don't know where I am on the taxi. That's a storm warning, don't worry about that. I think that's just a feature of the wind, gusty conditions. So I'm just at the hold point for runway 05 left. We're going to taxi out, take off. OK, let's go. We've got a very strong crosswind from the left and it's gusting as well as strong. OK, well... I'm not quite sure how realistic X planes crosswind handling <coughs> is on the ground. I suspect it's quite realistic given that I was holding aileron into wind. I think I was trimmed quite severely up as well. You can see how gusty this is. I'm not putting this on. <laughs> okay. We're going to get 2,000 feet, try and keep it more or less on the runway heading, and then I'm going to go on to autopilot because I need all the help I can get here. So the procedure is here, we're going to fly outbound on a heading of 234, and I'm going to do that on the VR2. So I've got the 234 radial dialed in. We're going to do that till we get to 11 miles from the Manchester VOR on the DME. We don't have a DME in the RW Designs Twin Otter, so I faked it by dialing in Manchester VOR on the GPS and as a direct two course. And so we've actually got a distance readout on there which, which will serve as a VOR, uh, sorry, a DME. Okay, we've just got the from indication, so we're just transit, transiting the VOR now. Very, very bumpy up here. I'm using real weather. I'm still flying default X plane in terms of scenery, but I've got um, Skymax Pro version 4, which is doing the weather depiction. There's no clouds around it, but it's just some haze. We've got this rather annoying lens flare effect, which, well, I say it's rather annoying. I mean, it's rather annoying because I'm headed right into the sun. I've got my seat height adjustment and actually seat backwards and forwards adjustment. If you're not using track IR, you can do that using native X plane. But if you've got track IR, you can't do that. So I've got another add on. I've got X camera, which is a free or a donationware add on. Okay, that VOR is just centering up now. So we're going to turn it. Alright, it should be turning us in now. We, we're just coming on to the localizer. So that's a kind of a last minute <laughs> adjustment, but the autopilot's doing its thing more or less correctly. Speed's coming back. I'm going to let it take us into, we're three miles out, take it into maybe two miles out, and then I'm going to take it by hand, you can see how bumpy this is. This default X plane scenery is pretty good, especially when it's hazy like this. I think there's something about the colour palette that um, there's an improvement on FSX in terms of realism. Alright, so I'm going to come off autopilot now.
is windy. Well, we got down. Okay, we're back. We're in the Twin Otter Extended FSX, and uh, we're about to do the same thing. Well, it doesn't feel as bumpy, but that uh, wind has shifted round a bit. It's definitely from the right now. We're drifting left. So I'm using active sky here. We don't quite have the same conditions depicted as we had in X-Plane. We don't have that haze hardly at all. Looking like the same sort of cloud layer, which is to say virtually well, very few clouds. FTX Global Scenery OK so we're back and we're established on the approach that wind has shifted, it's now pretty much on the nose a little bit from the right but not too much to give us a, a trauma in the crosswind again we're missing that haze layer so it doesn't look quite as realistic as it did in x -plane. Not feeling too bumpy here. Well, we missed that taxi ring. <laughs> I think that weaving was more like ineptitude than it was the crosswind, actually. Well, that was very much easier than the touchdown in x -Blame. Not really challenging at all. Controlling it on the ground after we touch down is challenging. I think that's a well-known feature of FSX. The ground handling is pretty abysmal and in terms of crosswind ground handling sometimes it's impossible to keep it on the runway. Not realistic at all. Now with that approach was really more to do with the weather depiction by Active Sky over Skymax. It's really hard to say. But at the moment, X-Plane is certainly ahead of the game in terms of realism. And that approach.